So, I, I started to tell them, all right, so in my country, in Austria, people, they complain a lot. They're always negative. Mm -hmm. And so you'll often hear people, I wrote this song in German to kind of make fun of them, check it out. Uh, you'll often hear people in Austria saying, oh, sister, watch us. And I sing my, my Austrian song. And then the next song I play is, the, and then I go on, I just keep playing, and I talk to the audience and say, so I was, uh, you know, thinking about this, and I realized, blah, 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 if you, blah, 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 just giving them some philosophical message, or not some, actually, a one I thought about, saying how I, Austria is a very rich country, and I was traveling in Brazil, mm -hmm. a very, very poor country, but the people are really happy, and I, you know, realized that there's no necessarily connection between what you have and how you feel, and you just need to learn to focus more on the positive than on the negative, and if you do, you will soon learn, play my song. It's a lovely life, don't you know I'm right? It's a lovely life, eh? So I'm kind of, all right, so I'm kind of transitioning. First I say, all right, people feel negative, people feel bad, but hey, if you if you really uh, think about it and focus and positive and mm -hmm. see, it's awesome. And then from there I go and I play Bare Necessities from the Jungle Book and I explain to people, hey, Jungle Book, you know, Mowgli and Baloo, so, so many people think that to be happy, they need to have things, they need to have a big house, they need to have a big car, they need to have an iPad and all these things. But if you listen to Baloo, he tells Mowgli, look for the bare necessities, the simple. And then I go and I play the King Louis song, I tell him, no, but King Louis, he goes and he says, I'm the king of the swingers, ooh, the jungle VIP. And, um... And then I go on and say, so yeah, last summer I was thinking about all of this a lot and uh, I was hanging out with my mom and by the riverside and I was looking at the trees, you know, and at the mountains and mm -hmm. I started singing on the ukulele and I play awesome and then everybody screams along, well, that is fucking awesome and everyone goes crazy mm -hmm. and then, uh, and then I switch over to the... <coughs> electric guitar and, you know, say something about, like, so, you know, everybody knows me for the ukulele, but really the truth is I want to be a rock star, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring in some beat now, and then that loops, and I get out my guitar, and that's kind of running, and I set my shit up. Sarah doesn't care about what you think is right, and people just slowly start grooving in, and I play... And I say, you know, I wasn't always so happy, though. Back when I was younger, I was a teenager. I was really sad a lot, really serious. So I played the song Bitter. Mm -hmm. I say, so at the beginning of my set, there's a little bit of talking, so I can get a message in there. And after the first five or six songs, you know, people will start, like, there's more music, more beat, and people just start rocking. And then there's no more talking, and I just play the songs through, and it just gets fatter and fatter until the end. And everyone's jumping. I watch the world flow to the dark side of the moon. Would you feel there's nothing to <coughs> do?